please welcome to the stage creative director of NetherRealm Studios and the co-creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon! Ed, you and your team at NetherRealm Studios have done it again. There is so much to unpack here, and I'm sure you can't wait to dive into some of the gameplay. Yeah, you know, you, we've been biting our tongues since, you know, six months ago around E3, dying to, dying to show you guys this game. But we really wanted to kind of build the suspense. This is absolutely going to pay off for that. All right, Ed. I'll let you do the honors, take it away. Yeah, you guys first, I think the first thing you wanted to do is see the actual game, so just let's, let's just roll them here. So, we're very excited to show you first look at Mortal Kombat 11. Nobody else has seen this. Today we have seven characters to show you, some returning, some new. There's far more in this game that we'll be able to show you right here, but we do want to hit on the enhancements from the game, the fighting, and the custom character variations. Garrus is a new fighter in the game and who can has a really cool time control abilities. You know, Mortal, in NetherRealm games, we really try to add something new. Mortal Kombat X, we introduced a feature called Character Variations three versions of every single character. mk 11s expanding on that idea, creating custom character variations the player can actually create by themselves. So you notice they're going to be selecting different versions of Scorpion. Some were created by the player, some were created already in the game. Same thing with Baraka. Cotton warriors are legendary. Then why don't you flee, Earthrealmer? The Shaddai Ryu embrace danger. Round one, fight! So this is a Mortal Kombat game, so you expect the fighting to be brutal. MK11 sees the return of Baraka, who was a fan favorite from Mortal Kombat 2. So let's see some of the moves he does here. Not to be outdone, Scorpion has a few tricks up his sleeve. Okay, now without getting too technical, we're gonna get into some of the geeky fighting game uh, moments up there. Mortal Kombat, traditionally we've had one meter that's a shared resource amongst the offense, defense, and the super moves. Mortal Kombat X is separating all three of those. So we have a horizontal meter is the offense attacks, vertical meter is the defensive attacks. See, Baraka's gonna shooting two using his offensive moves. Also can extend this leg stab here into a throw with a, also. Scorpion here is going to escape a, from a knockdown using his defensive meter. And you're going to notice here that the uh, fatal blow is, that's actually tied to 30% of the, of the health meter when it's reduced, you get fatal blow available. This adds completely new dynamic and tension to the fighting. Both in Baraka and Scorpion have a fatal blow right now. Baraka wins this fight. Round two, fight. So Scorpion missed his fatal blow attack, but it actually will regenerate after a cooldown period. So you notice his, his fatal blow is established, he can pull it off.
And now to be outdone, Baraka now has his Fatal Blow available. And of course, it wouldn't be Mortal Kombat without fatalities. Fatality. Baraka. 